Alrighty guys, I'm here with my 2024 Safe Moto 450 SS. On the last video of us building this bike out, this is our giveaway bike, we did a ECU flash from the guys over at Real Talk Power Sports. <laughs> we'll have a link for that video. I didn't get to finish that video for reasons that we're gonna talk about in a whole nother video when I can. But today I'm gonna be out riding the motorcycle. I'm Apparently from the charts we saw on the dyno, we got a 10% power bump with the 450, and that was because of the ECU flash plus the uh, Yoshi exhaust. It's only a slip-on, but I'm apparently we got a 10% power bump. So I'm really excited to uh, do a little moto vlog today and get my reactions of what this bike feels like now. I didn't really think it had or needed a power bump from where it was, but to just get that from an ECU flash is pretty freaking sick. So I'm gonna be uh, doing a motor vlog on the 450 and then I'm gonna try out our 300 and we'll see what they feel like and see if the ECU flash was really worth it. So uh, let's get on this thing and, and get this video started. By the way, if you guys are new here, uh, the 450 SS that I'm riding and the 300 SS that I'm gonna be riding later are both our giveaway bikes. We've uh, been doing giveaway bikes for like six or something years at this point. If you guys wanna win either this or the 300, all you gotta do is go to wbrgarage.com. There's all the info on the website of how to enter and stuff like that, but we literally are giving bikes away every single year. So if you guys want to get an option to win it, go ahead. This is kind of exciting. Uh, I don't do a lot of ECU flashing, so I don't even know what to, uh, what to expect with this. So this is exciting. So nothing, nothing different there. Okay. Oh look, it's Patty Rick. Yeah! Uh, motorcyclist attacks car. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> I love the 450, man. I'm gonna be really sad when it goes away because like, this has been such a good little bike. It's small, it's lightweight, it's punchy, and then it, yeah, apparently we got a 10% power bump, so we're gonna see what that feels like. It's such a cool little bike, man. I've, I've really enjoyed this bike a lot. I should note that I think there's only a month left for the giveaway. Uh, I was looking at the calendar earlier because we've got a lot of really cool videos we're gonna be, uh, we've been planning for a while on the 450. And uh, I looked at the calendar, I was like, oh my God, we're giving this thing away in a month. So if you guys are interested in winning it at all, uh, you probably need to jump on sooner rather than later because time is flying, man. It's absolutely flying this year, it's crazy. You know, off the rip, I'm not really noticing a power difference necessarily, but one of the things I am noticing is that the power is seeming to come on in a lot smoother manner. Uh, that is the one thing I feel like with CF motorbikes in general, a lot of the issues with the bikes that I've ever had, you know, issues really meaning like downsides to the motorcycles, is that the throttling just seems a little off Especially my Ibex was really bad about that. It, it had a really weird power thing that happened at like 4,000 RPM. So guys, the primary difference that I'm noticing off the rip is the smoothening of the power delivery on the 450. It doesn't necessarily feel more powerful. I mean, it, it totally might be, but I think it would be really hard to tell a 10% power bump unless I was either at a track where I could put a lap time down, or if, if I had just gotten off a, a stock bike and then got on this one, I think I might be able to tell there. But as of right now, I think overall, the main things I can tell is that the bike is just riding way more smooth. It's really interesting. It, it gives it a more premium throttle experience. I'm using words I'm not too sure about if you can't tell, but it's hard for me to describe what I'm feeling. Let's get on it here and see how it feels. All right. Yes, absolutely, dude. You can tell how much smoother that power delivery is throughout the entire rev range. That's another thing that I noticed from that dyno that we did. 
this bike sounds so freaking good. It's just revving it all the way to Redline. And uh, I think Patrick was telling me that that ECU unlocks a level of revs that you can now get to, which means you can just rev this thing to the moon now. Ooh, let's stop for that. Let's see what the engine braking. <laughs> what a good little bike. Oh my goodness. Things st slowed all the way down. Yeah, that's one of the things I'm noticing, guys. And uh, one of the things I want to do in a future video is I've seen a lot of y'all's comments, and I really appreciate y'all commenting on the videos and letting me know stuff that I don't know. A lot of y'all said I can just adjust this throttle cable and get rid of this throttle slack. I'm going to be doing that in uh, maybe the next video. I want to see if I can remove that because... If I've got the ECU flashed and the power is being delivered in a more smooth way and I can get rid of some of that throttle, throttle play, dude, we're going to be making this bike to a like advanced freaking level. And that is really exciting. I'm going to be honest. I, I did not expect, for one, I didn't expect to be able to feel that much of a difference really. And it's very interesting that it's not a power difference. It's a smoothness difference. And it's crazy how much that adds to the riding experience just to smooth out that, that power delivery a little bit and make it more gradual as it comes on. The bike doesn't seem faster or slower. It just seems more controlled and that is phenomenal. Also shout out 900 miles on the 450. Hell yes, dude, that's awesome. I'm trying not to put too many on the bike before one of you guys win it, but I definitely want to put on some to get a, you know, get a feel for the bike. All right, guys. Uh, so that's the 450, man. I, I'm not really noticing any difference other than that smoothness. So I'm going to head back to the place, uh, grab the 300. We'll take it for a spin and let's see what it feels like now, now that it's got the ECU flash. If it's as good as the 450, dude, I'm going to be stoked. I'm going to get all my bikes ECUs flashed. Alrighty, guys. We're out here on the uh, totally stock uh, 2023, I believe, CF Moto 300 SS. The one we got flashed, uh, just like the 450, we got it flashed. But unlike that bike, this bike is totally stock. There's no aftermarket exhaust. There's no uh, air filter change. There's nothing different. Um, as far as the driving of this motorcycle uh, from it in its stock form. So this one is going to be really interesting to see if there is any, you know, distinguishable difference in power after the ECU flash. So this one should be interesting. Let's just get that. Let's get that look from the front. Oh, my God. What a good motorcycle. You know, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to miss both of these bikes when we give them away because, like I said, we are uh, giving both of these bikes away over at wprgarage.com the one thing i have noticed with both of these bikes since the ecu flash has been that they their cold start is so much better uh, than it was previously also this is my favorite new thing the quad lock that goes onto the uh, reservoir bro it like puts your phone in such a better spot typically my phones are up front having it on the side i like a lot all right, let's uh let's get this thing going. I almost got killed on the 450 going in that direction, so we're gonna see if we can go through the back. Way less people trying to kill me this way. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Look at that, boys. Spoke too soon. They literally say nobody's trying to kill me, and then a giant truck with a whole ass tree in it tries to back into me. Okay, let's get her going. <laughs> Okay, the 300 might be a little different than the 450. Hold on. We're going to do some throttling up after we get through this, but I do not remember this bike being this peppy uh, down low. <laughs> Bro, beforehand, this bike did not throw me back as much as it does right now. That is interesting. I'm going on the same path that I went on the 450 just to make this totally fair. See, the thing about the uh, the 300 is it doesn't really have nearly the amount of power that the 450 has. So the 450, it makes it a lot more apparent if the power is changed 
and how the power has changed but when you're on a motorcycle with overall less power it makes it a lot more subtle but what it's feeling like on the 300 is that i've got a lot more bottom end that hits initially than it used to and that i love now you know when we're up in fifth gear going 40 we're not really on a bike that's gonna have a lot of punch it's a 300 you know the power does die off as far as like the power like pulling you back but this is very interesting you know for as far as expectations that i had i did not expect to be able to feel any difference on this bike after the ecu flash because i'm like what is an ecu flash gonna do to a motorcycle that's totally stock surprisingly add to the bottom end is the answer to that question Let's see if we can get a little higher in the revs and see if we can get a little more power yeah the 300 just doesn't have a lot of power high up so you don't really benefit by uh like redlining it but that low down power i almost want to turn off on a road and just do a you know pull out and just go as fast as i can let me see if there's a all right we'll, we'll pull into whatever this residential area is up here and then pull back on the road and see let's see what that feels like all right we'll try it again see if it was just a lucky draw all right, here we go. <laughs> oh, there you go. It is. It feels like it's mostly, no, it's still pulling. Goodness gracious. So first and second, you know, right, right from the get go, I can feel so much more power delivery. That's interesting. It revs so quick through first and second. Holy crap okay wow my brain is i changed my mind holy cow i would not have thought an ecu flash could unlock the bike's power down low like that that's a 300 that's impressive so i guess to answer the question like is it worth it to get your ecu flashed on the 300 well if you spend a lot of your time in the higher RPMs and higher gears, honestly, probably not. It's, it's probably not worth the money. I'm not really noticing that big of a difference because like there's just not a lot of power to mess with up at the top. But if you're doing city riding or you're wanting more acceleration like from in first and second, then this tune does wonders for this motorcycle the the cf moto 300 ss i am legitimately impressed with that I, I don't know if it's maybe because i had my expectations so low you know like i had convinced myself already that this was it wasn't really gonna do anything and you know whatever my preconceived notions were maybe i just already had those in my head and that's why I'm so shocked right now. But if I owned this motorcycle, I would 100% because I do a lot of city riding and like riding like this. I wouldn't ride this bike on the highway a ton. So because of that, because that would be the style of riding I would spend a lot of time on this bike with, which I do feel like it's better at generally, I would 100% get that ECU flashed. That would honestly, if you had this bike and you started feeling like you were outgrowing the bike, and you wanted something stronger you could legitimately get the ecu flashed and you'd be good on this bike for a little while longer i believe so that way you don't have to go through the whole process of selling the bike and do blah 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 blah. you could literally get the ecu flashed however much it is and get a little more life for you personally out of the bike very impressive real talk power sports my expectations were low and you far exceeded those so anyways guys that's all i really wanted to do in this video is give you guys my initial response and reaction getting to put this ecu flash on the road and test it out for y'all uh very happy to say totally something to look into and uh we'll have links for the guys over at real talk power sports in the description down below if you guys because you know i don't know if you guys have a 300 ss or 450 ss and are looking into uh getting your bikes flashed but really impressed with this i wonder if all ecu flashes are like this like really helpful because i need to look into that on a couple of my other bikes anyways guys i'm chase on two wheels thank you guys for watching the video if you guys want to check out any links for the ecu flashing and stuff 
I'll have them in the description down below. If you want to win this bike or our 450 SS, we will have a link for WBRGarage.com down below. It'll be the top one. And uh, get entries and win yourself a motorcycle. It could be a good time for you. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Later. Is it this turn that I need to turn? No, I go straight. No, I do turn. No. Is this where we turn? I think this is where we turn. Nope. This is where we turn. Woohoo!